New, 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 new. Okay, uh, big news! Shout out to Star! Woo. Yeah, we are now stocking Circuit Classics. These are Three beautiful supplies. kits by Star Simpson with help by from Forrest Mims, who yeah. made the original circuits. Forrest Mims is uh, kind of famous for uh, the Forrest Mims notebooks. A lot of people learned electronics by uh, following the Radio Shack Forrest Mims uh, project guides. Um, I definitely had a bunch of those like lovely little notebooks. And he also has a book that is in our shop. And um, I think Star basically wanted to pay tribute to the way that so many engineers have gotten started by taking three of the most popular um, circuit projects. And again, these are before Arduino and microcontrollers. There's no programming. These are just parts that you put together to build a project and, and they just work when you turn them on. And uh, she built three projects and we're stocking them. They're kits, but they're really beautiful. They come with a stand. Uh, we only have a couple right now because we're, you know, we're basically uh, clearing out the stock, but we'll be making these kits with Star. So we'll be restocking them if we're out. Um, please sign up and we'll be getting more. Yeah. So um, let's talk about these. There's three of them. Oops. There is the Step Tone, oh. which is a music player. Yep, yeah. that's that one. And you can see the schematic is on the right. On the left is the circuitry you build. And on uh, the next one is the bar graph voltage indicator. So it's sort of like a battery meter. I like this handwriting. That's cool. It says handwriting on it. Yeah, that's. It, she basically took the graphic and then you know vectorized it, scanned it, and put it onto the PCB. Um, yeah. So that's kind of neat. And then the circuit is also inside. You know, as you solder, the connections are, are shown in the line. The circuit is the circuit. The circuit is the circuit. And then the classic dual LED flasher, double transistor flasher, um, as well. This is the simplest. And probably these are the first project people build. It's basically the hello world of analog electronics. And I like that the Blinking signature, LED. it's the copper. Yeah, it's in copper. And nice it's touch. in gold, actually. Gold gold cover. Okay, you want to show one off on yeah, the Yeah, let's right? show these off. So, hold on, I got all, right. all sorts of things going on here. Okay. Hold on, making, making some room. I'm going to take that colloquium. Thank you. So, this is the uh, stepped tone generator. Um, so yeah, you get this really lovely blue circuit board and on the back it even has the circuit theory of how it works. And then this is where you solder the components and then uh, it tells you where you can find the circuit. So this is from 555 timer IC circuits. People love the 555. And then um, there's these knobs. So if I grab a battery, for example, you can put in a coin cell or you can power it from a nine volt that you use alligator clip on. I'll, I'll use the uh, nine volt. For extra power hold on and then turn up the volume and then yeah so uh, really fun little it's, it's usually called a um, a like Atari punk console it's a, it's a very simple yeah. synthesizer but it is a synthesizer you can build um, it makes some fun noises. The Draudio uses a very simple circuit using a 555. So, um, yeah, this is the first project. So this is step to tone generator. And then that's not the only one. We also but wait, there's more. There's more. So there's uh, this one I already put the battery in. So if you grab a coin cell, you can just power it that way. And um, this is just a double transistor flasher. No microcontroller needed. Not even a 555 uses two transistors and some RC timing. What I like about this is it's more than a circuit board. It's something from the past, something new, and it has history. It actually, to, when I pick it up, it feels heavier because it's Forrest Mims and it's Star and we have it in our store. And it's just been kind of beautiful to watch this project. The, every little piece of the design, the fonts, the color, everything about it, it's, I'm probably just gonna put three of them in frames and put them on our, it's art it's yeah. art and it's and it's electronics yeah i love um, it which it's has kind of been our thing for a while and i love it. it's like it, you know it is bigger than it needs to be but it's like uh, the simplicity and it's like, like a page out of a book that's a yeah. circuit it's like it's kind of what you imagine when you're like "Ooh, what if this came alive well it did it's very tactile like you're yeah. like you're really looking at the circuit and it makes you the fact that it's so big and you really see all the traces you, i think you think about it a little bit more yeah. and then finally we have the um the uh, bar graph voltage indicator. Um, so this one, you actually, it's, it's meant to measure a battery, but I don't, I didn't bring two coin cells. So I'll just, I'll just turn on, I'll just light up. 
but um, it can uh, detect uh, voltage changes. So you can hook this up and you know connect it to a battery or um, to a circuit, and you can uh, use this as a bar graph voltage measurement. So this uses, um, I think it's a quad comparator. And you, just have, you can see the comparator string down here and the LEDs. And then um, the theory is behind. LEDs glow in sequence as input voltage rises. R1 control sensitivity. Adjust R1 to achieve sensitivity up to a few millivolts per LED. Getting started in electronics, page 124. Yeah. And, you know, one thing, um, and I think some folks are mentioning this in the chat. So for, for young people, this is good because they can, they can hold it and they can see it. Also, if, you know your eyesight isn't so good, it's good for you too because it's big and yeah. you can see these things. So I, I think this is neat, uh, all ages. And uh, Yeah, I like how like, you see the R1, R2, R3, R4, and then over yeah. here, they're the same resistors. Like the p position of the components matches the schematic. So it makes it like very physical. Yeah. Really good, I think, for um, you know beginners or instructors or, or people who just love circuitry and they, they love the beauty of circuitry. Um, I think this is definitely our most artistic. Yeah. Um, projects. Yeah, and as C. Scott said, this is a page out of a book. Literally. Yeah. All right. So we've got all three. Um, I think we have a bunch of, I think the step tone generator, we have extras, but the others, yeah. we might be sold out, but sign up yep. and we'll be getting more in stock. Yeah. They're and if y'all want to see more stuff like this, um, this is one of the times where um, if we sell these and we get demand, we'll work with Star and we'll keep stocking them. And if other people have ideas for, I mean, like this is, not an idea she owns. If you have your own circuitry and you want to show it off in this way, like yeah. steal this idea. Yeah, it's super cool. Okay, next up, Lady Ada. You like these? Potentiometers. They're simple, straightforward, but we love them. These are analog pots. So they are um, log scale rather than linear scale. We have a, a single one. It, you know, This one's a photo of a linear scale one. You can see that B instead of an A, but plugs into a breadboard. Good for audio circuitry where you want to adjust the volume and have it um, logarithmic so it matches human hearing. Because for us, we're, we, you know, if something is half the voltage, it doesn't sound half the volume. It actually sounds like 75% of the volume. You actually have to reduce it quite a bit because our hearing is, is logarithmic. It's very sensitive, which is cool. We can hear quiet things. But when things get loud, we don't yeah. necessarily like freak out. Okay. So that's good. And then we have a, a dual log pot. So it's dual gang. So if you're using something stereo, you want to adjust the volume of a stereo input, we have two. These are not breadboard friendly because you know the two potentiometers would short each other out, but you can prototype it. And they're also panel mount, so you can connect them. You know, Once you can solder wires, then panel mount them, and you can. Uh, we have a, plenty of knobs you can purchase yeah. that go with these to make little knobs and adjusters and pointers and okay. volume tweakers. And the star of the show tonight besides you, Lady Ada, <laughs> is Metro Express! Yay! Oh, Metro yeah. 2 Express! I can't believe it's here! I can't believe it's here! It's here! It's finally here! I know. This is actually, we've been, I've been sitting around. I was waiting for um, this 2x3 header that we use. <laughs> like, I was ready to, we actually had all the PCBs a couple weeks ago. You can see it was, this was made the seventh week of 2017. We've had these since um, February, but um, they're like, you know, early March. But um, I was just waiting for this connector. It finally came in this week, and so we were able to make production. So, yay, we have the Metro M0 Express. So this is the next evolution in our line of Metro boards. We have a Metro 328, which is uh, compatible pretty much 100% with an Arduino Uno or Duomilanove um, and that series of boards. This is next gen. So this uses the Cortex M0 chipset. It is uh, six times as fast, you know, 10 times as much flash and memory. Um, has a lot more capabilities, can have multiple I2C ports or multiple UR. Ten times the fun. It has like tons of PWMs. It has like twice as many analog inputs. It has so much capability. You can do hardware debugging. It's not any more power. Like the power usage isn't as high. Um, it is compatible within the Arduino IDE. But mm -hmm. beyond that, the really cool thing about this chip is it's powerful enough to run CircuitPython. Yeah. So this board was designed specifically for use with CircuitPython, although you could also use it, of course, with the Arduino IDE. It is compatible with the um, Arduino Zero. If you install our um, package, our board support package, you can just use it. And uh, a lot of people like this chip. It's been in our Feather M0 line. So now we basically have it large enough that you can use it with um, Arduino shields or with a breadboard. Mm -hmm. If you like um, you know, the Arduino-like shape, this is for yeah. you. Especially some people have circuitry that already if plugs you've had, in. If you, if you 
played the shield game for all this time, you still get to use it, but you get to use it even better, mm -hmm. even faster. That's right. With so less power. Less, less power, but, but more capability. But more capability. Yeah. So this, um, this board comes with the UF2 bootloader, which means it's very easy to load new software. It's a, a new drag and drop bootloader from Microsoft that they've released for this chipset. So you can um, plug it in. It looks like a disk drive and you, and you drag firmware onto it. Um, so you can very easily run it with make code or with circuit Python. And um, that's basically what we're aiming for. This is our second circuit Python board. This is Blinka. She's our circuit Python mas mascot. So for people who want to use something that is Arduino shaped, Arduino compatible, but they also want to try using Python, it's really easy. You can get started with circuit Python in only a few seconds. And it has that two megabyte flash chip in the NeoPixel, and that's what makes it really good for use with Python. When you plug it in, um, that two megabyte flash chip shows up as a disk drive and you actually get like a two megabyte USB key and you store all your Python files on it. So when you're editing your files, you edit them directly on the board. There's no compiling and no uploading. It just works. It's freaky. It just works. It's freaky. It's very weird. It's freaky. But once you do that, you can never go back. It's like, why would I ever want to like download through an ID every single time? There's no compile and yeah. no upload and no like synchronizing. You, you can just open up in a text runs. file and change something and hit save and it's running. And Amazing. you can rerun the, the evaluator immediately. Yeah. So if you are you write some code and you're like, oh, I made a typo, you just save and you can you don't have to like close your serial port or reopen it. It just instantly yeah. you can use REPL, you restarts. Can, you can use um, you can use REPL, you can just start typing commands cool. in if you want. Yeah. If you don't want to use a file, you can just start interacting immediately just as if it was a, yeah. a Python REPL. So for people who want to learn Python or know Python, this is a really good way to do electronics. And we are we have now maybe like a dozen or two dozen um, circuit Python libraries, so everything from NeoPixels to yeah. motor control to infrared to um, you know uh, so what else like uh, sensors. Yeah. If you know and if you know Python, this is super fun. If you yeah. don't know any computer programming, great, learn Python. This is super fun, yeah. and it seems to be the entry for a lot of people to learn. Um, programming, but this also teaches electronics now too. And best of all, you can use this on Chromebooks, yeah. computers you don't have, you don't have to install an IDE, you don't have to even install a driver yeah. on most computers. I said in the chat, yeah. but, I'll, but I'll say it here, shout out to Carol, thanks for um, all the support and everything. Scott, Tony, um, who've been working on this. Um, this has been a labor of love for a while, and uh, it's now happening. Yes, we did the Feather M0 yeah. Express a couple weeks ago, and now the Metro M0 Express. Um, we've been squashing bugs in Python and the bootloader. Um, thanks to everybody who's, who's giving us great feedback. We want to make this super solid. But I think this is great for people to use. And then yeah. we will also be releasing a Gemma and Trinket and, um, again, Circuit Playground Express. Yeah. We're aiming for having that launched by Maker Faire. It's happening. So this is all in the lead up to having a, a full suite of boards that you can use with MakeCode, use with CircuitPython, Blink use with Arduino, debut. work with AVR GCC. Yeah. A lot of possibilities. Yeah. Okay. And with that, Lady Ada is ba -ba -ba, new products. Is it? Sweet. Is it? Okay.